Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I typically shoot only RAW files, but the last couple weeks I've been trying out film simulations on the Ricoh GR3. I've made a couple videos about this and I've been surprised at the response. There's some people that have been saying, you know, I didn't even know that you could do this on the Ricoh. And one guy even said, I'm gonna go sell my X100V and, and buy a Ricoh because I bought into Fuji because of the film simulations. And while I don't necessarily recommend that because those X100Vs are pretty hard to get a hold of these days, uh, I have been uh, encouraged by the response. And so I I wanted to make another video featuring some more recipes just to give people an idea of what's out there. These recipes aren't mine, they're all available on the Rico's Recipe app, which you can download on the App Store for free, at least on iPhone. I don't know about Android. As a creative challenge, I just selected three random recipes this week and went out and shot with them in no matter you know what weather conditions or lighting I got. And I'm gonna show you my results. The three that I ended up choosing were X Pro Teal, Retro Print, and coda color. So let's jump into the images because that's what this video is really about. And I'm not gonna give a ton of commentary on them, uh, but I'm just gonna show you what they look like. All of them are unedited, except for a, a few exposure changes here and there, but not very many. If you wanna see them in high resolution, they're available on my website uh, down in, there's a link down in the description. Also, if you wanna learn how to install or download or input a film recipe into your Ricoh GR3, got a video on that and you can find it on the blog post which is also linked below. And for those who may not have the app, I've included the recipe details on my website, uh, credit to Rico Recipes of course, uh, but you can check it out there and, um, and use those details if that's more handy for you. So let's take a look at this first simulation. It's called X Pro Teal. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not think that I was gonna like this simulation because the sample shots on the Rico Recipes app, they have they're low contrast and they have a, a green cast to the images. And personally, I've just never had a taste for the green color uh, or photos that feature the green color heavily unless I'm out in nature or something like that. So I was pleasantly surprised when I took this to Tirana, the capital of Albania, and was able to uh, shoot around for a couple days. And I was surprised with the results. So, uh, here we have a, a shot in the dark. This is a old police Fiat van. And then just a couple at the cafe. The reds here in these next couple images you'll see, they really stand out. And I, I started looking for red and green combinations, not just because it's about Christmas time, but <laughs> because this film simulation really makes those pop. And I really just enjoyed that, uh, that color combo. And the, the other colors, it kind of mutes out. So I think it really does have a nice balance. And this, of all three of the simulations that I shot with, actually was my favorite. And I thought that it would be my least favorite just based off of my initial impressions. Here you've got some of these, uh, well, this pink building really illustrates the how the reds and the pinks any oranges pop. Fall leaves still coming down here. It's a little bit warmer here than my home hometown, which is in Ohio. <laughs> so about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Christmas trees are going up. So yeah, overall, um, I'd have to say that, that this is my favorite out of the three. And I think this is a good lesson that you should always try new things, even sometimes things that you don't think that you're gonna like because just might turns out might turn out that your taste is a little different than what you thought. So X Pro Teal, highly recommend. The second film simulation is called Retro Print. And again, I have the details there on the website, but I thought that I was really going to like this one because it's high contrast and I'm a contrast kind of guy. Uh, it's also somewhat higher in saturation and I typically like a decently saturated image. So I was like, all right, the sample shots looked good on the Rico Recipes app. Let's take a look. So I took it out. I took it out both in daylight and at the nighttime, and here are some of my results. You can see this basketball hoop. I shot it in both situations. Uh, this was, this is, I don't exactly know what this is. It's like a mound with a staircase going up in my, in my town in Valora. But you can tell that these images here are, they're very, almost like washed out, and very cold on the temperature scale. And I found the more that I shot this, I really did not like my daytime images. I probably threw away 80% of the images that I took because I didn't like the colors. I just didn't like the way that they were rendered. There were certain images like these flower pots maybe that I liked. The redeeming quality of this film simulation in my personal subjective view 
is nighttime photography. You know, I, I like a colder image at night to give the, uh, the ambiance, is that the right word? Or the, the aesthetic, I like the aesthetic of it. So, you know, the, the merry-go-round, and this, this uh, I think it's a daisy, I don't know exactly this flower. I, I really like the way that the colors rendered there. The bakery, the kaputsar is a cobbler or like a shoe repairman. I just took a picture of that because we don't have those back in the States or you don't see them very often. So I'm down by the Lungamar or the beach walk. And again, I think the blue cast works at night. I just don't enjoy it during the day. I think perhaps it could also have been because I was in the city. I think if I was out in a more natural environment with warmer light, with more greens from trees and plants and things, I would have liked it more. But the, the city, I, I didn't love it. And this guy here with his uh, boat going out at night. And of course the go-karts downtown that I like to, to take photographs of. Okay, so the final one, Coda Color. I've never shot with Kodak Gold film, but I always imagined that it would turn out like this <laughs> if, if um, I ever did shoot it. I just don't have the patience for the development process of film. I've tried it once, but it's not for me. Uh, so this might be a naive opinion that it's supposed to look like Kodak Gold, but this is what I always imagined it would be, it would look like. To me, this, the sample shots in the, the app looked like, oh, you know, this is uh, perfect for like a hot, steamy, sun-washed summer day captioning, capturing vacation photos or something like that. Uh, and so what did I do? Well, I took it out in December, cloudy, rainy, cold conditions, and, <laughs> and I shot, uh, shot around. <laughs> so uh, this one was a close second to the X Pro Teal in terms of my favorite film simulation. I would say I feel like this is much more of like a film simulation that you could use on an everyday basis, whereas the Retro Print and the X Pro Teal are more like artistic. I would save them for particular circumstances. The, the shepherd here with his sheep and those little lambs, very picturesque. This is a simulation I enjoyed blowing out the highlights because it gives it almost this like ethereal uh, uh, halo kind of look to it. So you can see there in a couple of these images, and you'll see a couple in the future, where I blew out the highlights and I have no regrets. <laughs> a couple macro shots, get some of those details. And here I was like in the woods over in uh, an area where a lot of people go camping, and so this probably would have been the place for the retro print. Got these macro shots of mushrooms. I should say every camera should have a macro mode. It just, it's perfect on the Ricoh. So again, very warm. I think it works well for, uh, for, for landscapes, for the natural light, and it just warms things up because it was a very kind of cloudy, cold day. Found this abandoned like backhoe in the woods. <laughs> the tiki umbrellas that they use in the summer but just get tossed in the, the winter. And then there's a statue downtown, Vlora, of a young fisherman. And these last couple shots, I mean, who says you can't shoot wildlife photography with a Ricoh GR3? Got some of those seagulls. I think I shot those with snap focus. I think my snap focus was at five meters. So a little bit washed out kind of uh, colors, definitely warm. And you can see Snow White here. There's something about the, this has nothing to do with the camera. So here in Albania, I think they get like the reject rides and like amusement park stuff from Italy. And so all the, all the, all the characters and the amusement uh, decorations and, and, and things, they always look kind of funny. You can see Snow White. Just something looks off about her. Uh, all of, all, it seems like all of them are like that. I don't know. It's, it's funny. But anyway, here's our Christmas tree. So in conclusion, let me just start off by saying that I, I really enjoyed shooting these this week. I think it's a great creative challenge. And you can't always go to a new location, a thrilling new city, or a, a beautiful new landscape to keep photography exciting and engaging but one thing you can do is input a film recipe and see your city and your your home in a new light or in new colors in this instance. I was really surprised by my results and which simulations I ended up liking versus the ones I thought that I would and I think it's a great lesson for photography and just life in general that sometimes the things that you think you're going to like you end up disliking and the things that you think you're going to dislike you end up liking.
So try new things and keep your mind open. All right, that's uh, the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this gives you some creative inspiration. Let me know if you have any questions about film, film simulations. I'm not an expert, but I uh, might be able to help with some things. Leave them down in the comments below. I'm interested in maybe creating some custom simulations for my next video and sharing those with you guys rather than getting them off of the Rico Recipe app or another website. So if that's something that you're interested in, remember, hit the like button, subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. That way you're notified when a new video comes out. And uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, talk to you hopefully next week.